All right, so here's the first test of the electronic control box for my six degrees of freedom uh, motion rig. So this is the schematics. Uh, looks complicated, and it is. <laughs> um, so finally I soldered everything. Um, I got modified power supplies. So I put two of the 750 watt HP power supplies in series to uh, make a 24 volt power supply, a 12 volt power supply for all the 12 volt needs, another 24 volt power supply. And I got a distribution box that I had to modify uh, to get two buses uh, with the fuses and uh, I got the rectifier diode bridges uh, to prevent to protect power supply from the back current. Six boards. Um, it's a Cytron uh, motor driver board. Three Arduino's. Um, there's no firmware yet, uh, so it's just the first test. And the relay box that turns on the power supplies as soon as the current gets in from the Arduino's. So let's see if it works. Um, okay, so that's the main power. You could hear the power supplies went on um, for the passive mode. Uh, let's get the multimeter running. No, it didn't work. Come on. Okay, I don't know what happened with the millimeter, but um, okay, so there's nothing yet, no voltage. Uh, so let's see, I got the Arduino is plugged into the uh, USB, um, you know, charger, just so they get the voltage and trigger the relay box, and that should power all the power supplies. So let's put it in. And yes, okay. Okay, we got twenty four point six volts, and I got those display displaced wired for each of the motor drivers. So they do show 24.6 volts on all of them, yeah, 24.7, which means probably that I need to adjust it, because it's definitely 24.6. Okay, looks correct now. And I got the motor, single motor plugged in to this driver. So, and by the way, let's turn the lights off, and it's pretty blinking lights. Okay, so those are the power to motor drivers, Arduinos, relays. Okay, so this is the buttons for, for testing the actual motor driver. Well, as you can hear, the motor is moving, so let's turn the lights back on. Okay. And we have movement. Okay. And you can see this is the motor number six. You can see about one amp. Power draw, 24 watts. Okay. That's good. The other direction. Sounds higher, I don't know why. And we have, yeah, one amp, 24.5 watts. We still have 24.6 volts here. So, that's good. It's 
interesting but it sounds higher relating one direction than the other probably not a significant difference okay so we're good let's see if we have um, if we have power to other motor drivers nothing's connected to them okay yes 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 yeah okay working okay it's really difficult to reach the buttons but yeah they working another one yes and another one okay so the static test is a success nothing has burned out so far the motor is actually working we got power we got voltage okay so the next phase is to actually uh, design and 3d print hole sensors for detecting the motor position the angle sensors and um, flashing the the arduinos um, with smc3 and calibrating everything and um, i need to make motor arms that's the gonna be the next phase um yeah so that's it